Lee, you were in this film for a brief thing. Could you tell us about that? Uh, um, kind of like a special guest appearance. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It was a lot of work. I mean, I didn't think there was a time when I wasn't working on this. I mean, I had to do everything around this schedule. I don't believe, I've never worked so hard in my life. The first digital effect you see in the film is the big towering building in the cityscape. Uh, the main problems we had with that at first was it was just too big a file. It took so long to render and we had trouble with the lighting. So we had to do it in three di different steps. We started with the floor shot. Then we added the sky background. Then the actual buildings in the foreground. The biggest problem I had when it came to the fire was it was probably just getting a lighter to start the fire. Give me the lighter then! Well, fuck you! No. What, what else am I gonna oh, do? Shit. I'm gonna no, stay no, here no, and no, argue no, all no. fucking night if I have to. No! I don't care! Oh, come on, I Stop don't care! Okay, you just stand well, there. I will! Okay. I am not gonna be worried! I'll stand here, I'll get right in the way, and I'll just, just fucking oh, piss off everyone. Is? Give me a light, bug. What colour light did you want? Oh, fucking red one. Fucking hell. What, what kind of question is I that? What know. colour lighter? I need to know! Preferably yeah, one that's got a flame out the top. Fucking hell. Oh, well, you can't have any of these, look, cos there's no flame coming up. Look, no flame. No fucking flame. Let's just see if we can get some words with Joe. I'm a black belt, so don't piss me off, Possa. <laughs> How's it going, Joe? How's it going? Not too bad. <laughs> yeah? Feel like kicking my ass? <laughs> no. Yeah? What if I go like Not this? Another day. <laughs> Oh, that was quite good. It's a shame he's got an old basketball top on. How many women did you see during the production of this film? Only three, nowhere near as many men. But there were more ducks. I slept with many, more ducks than men as well. The ducks are good fuck. Towards the end of the filming, uh, a lot of people were getting stressed uh, because Spending so long with the same amount of people, you just get on each other's nerves after a while. Yeah, it's still quiet on set. I said quiet. You tap those scissors, and I'll cut your ass off with them. Like that. You stretch it out. Stretching your ass cheeks, just to cut them off with a silly little you know? pair of primary school scissors that don't even cut warm butter. That's how bad it's going to be. I'll cut you out like daisy chains of happy people for your moustache. You wish you had a moustache like this. You'd put a moustache on one day and it'd be a chain of little people holding hands like that. And like... I was getting stressed and I know a couple of the others were getting really stressed and angry. Yeah, shut up and do your lines anyway, come on. You're just about your laugh. <laughs> Every time I try and do a line, you start talking again. Hell. <laughs> oh, the mustache. The mustache, it was almost as if it was a character in itself. What does that believe you're looking for? Mm. I mean, it had, it had more personal assistance than, than me. <laughs> I think all of us, all our assistants put together, that's like half of how many were working on the moustache. Mop! Now you can watch. Just do it. Mommy can watch the tape after. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's the flying fetus for you right there. 
yeah, it seems that our last day of production, I don't know where security is where, but we had uh, four maniac, rival, excited fans just burst into the building. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. <laughs> surprise. Luckily Mark wasn't there, but they went they went to boob signing and it was so immature. The boobs man. <sighs> Honestly. Yeah what's your name? Glenn. Way, thank you Glenn. Me. I love indie glasses. And they're so cool. Afterwards I slept with them. Not the fat one. I uh, gave that one Will's number. Film oh, Mark? What you film 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 nuts. Meet and greet with the fans. I think they like me. That one I actually gave her a number. She's going back to my trailer. Let's go to film this while we dress. That's what I normally do. Stupid ideas. I mean, pretty much take something a two-year-old, a retarded two-year-old would say, rub shit on it, add a couple of knob gags, and that's pretty much all of his ideas, all the time. There's a saying in this business: never work with children or animals. And I think I found both in Glen. Not literally in Glen. I mean, that would be shocking and disturbing. Break several laws. He really was a nightmare to work with, I mean, you know those squirty flowers which you fill up with? got one of those and brought it on set. 37 times he squirted me with that thing. 37. Every time he thought it was the funniest thing in the world, he hadn't even bothered to put it into the paddle, he was using it like a water gun for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Dribbling, that, that retarded grin on his face. Well, I'm usually at least two hours late every day. But uh, I find when you're the star of the film and the director, there's, there's not a lot they can do about it. I like that power. No. But uh, <clears throat> from, a, from a sales and publicity point of view, this film is going to be awesome. I mean, it is going to have a bigger cult following than Mel Gibson's The Passion. The box office gross is going to be better than E.T., Star Wars, add them together. Times it by like 58, 100, that will be our total gross. I think uh, true fans of the comic, I think they'll understand the message we're trying to get through. And what's that message? I would just like to remind everyone that no animals were harmed in the production of this movie. And they were all consenting adult ducks.